6 is an awesome strategy game and whether you're picking it up on this fantastic discount or whether you're a long time fan of the franchise I thought it would be useful to delve into the ultimate digital board game today which has suffered over the years from a little bit of unnecessary bloat and talk about these mods in particular the 5400 of them I'm going to break some down for you today in this video pick out my very best and show you some gameplay along the way that's relevant let's jump straight in but firstly if you don't know how to get them go additional content and mods and you can check your subscriptions to see which ones you've already got installed or PC players can browse the workshop Sorry console players, you're shiced out of luck. Let's jump straight in. My first one, and this one is really catered towards new players, but also players of other strategy games like Humankind or Sid Meier's Civilization V, it's the Movable Districts mod. Essentially, the game takes the cost of a district, times it by two, and charges you that in gold to move a district. Normally in Civ 6, of course, once you've built your church, it's stuck there for good. There is no way to relocate. Now there is a way. This is useful if you're somewhat new to the game or like me, you just suck at forward planning. It's a wonderful mod and I really do highly recommend you check it out for new players and old. And I should also note that this is probably the most disruptive mod in the list. The rest of these mods will for the most part keep the integrity of the core experience of Civ 6 intact. Let's move on to my second recommendation, and it's actually a two-for-one special. It's all about trade and deals. Firstly, the better trade screen can be really useful to get a better trade overview to figure out where things are going and how much money you can actually make. But what I'm more interested in is this Quick Deals mod. This mod will change the way you play Civ 6. You will no longer spend hours and hours looking through different AIs or trading with different opponents to find the best deal Thanks to the Quick Deals mod overlay. Trade aside, take a look at this. Now, this is very early on in a game. As you move through, of course, you'll have a lot more, hopefully, luxury resources and great works and all sorts of other crap that you can trade with other people. Now, what this does is, essentially, it shows you the best deals all available players who will buy it off you and how much they're willing to pay or barter with you. It's a wonderful, wonderful mod. And I should also quickly note that why don't you Hit the free and fancy like and subscribe buttons. Anyway, moving along. Shameless plug aside. You can also trade different agreements and figure out how much money you can get out of these. It's useful in the early game for picking up a little bit of extra gold and things that you might not even have thought about selling. It's a fantastic mod. So too is the extended policy cards mod coming in at number three in my list. And to be honest, even though, like me, it's not the most sexy of mods, the great people one here is slightly better honourable mention, it is, like me, a little bit perhaps more practical. And let me show you what I mean by that. So, putting the great people mod aside, let's jump in and have a look at the policy cards. Probably the area of Civilization VI that is the most bloated. In this example, I'm showing you a very early game piece, but as anybody who's played through a game of Civilization VI will know, once you get through into the later game policy cards, the likes of plus 5% science for every envoy sent to a suzerain city-state, I mean, that doesn't even make sense to the average person who speaks English, let alone somebody who's trying to play a lot of games and manage a lot of other things in their life. So this mod makes it much easier. You can see the little icons appearing underneath each policy card as I show you this clip in painstaking slow motion. The point here is it does all the maths for you and shows you what the card does in a really simple and effective way using pictures rather than the frankly not very plain English text descriptions. Let's now move on to my next mod. It's the detailed map tax mod. This is for you keen city planners and Ford thinkers. It is of course maybe slightly less uh, useful if you have the other mod installed that I showed you at the start of this video that lets you simply move your districts. However, it has some other use cases. So this mod is designed to help you plan your districts. You can put down a tack that represents like these, for example, tile improvements, wonders or districts and plan out adjacencies. But also like I'm doing here, if you mouse over all of these different things, you get a really quick way to figure out what each wonder, for example, does or every single district in the game and what the yields it can produce. So for example, 
what kind of science bonuses do I get from placing my campus near mountains? This menu will tell me. Now if I pop down a test Krampus, you can see even more detail, right? So I've popped down a map tack, I've selected science, and now you can see it's getting plus four science from the geothermal fissures and plus one from being next door to a mountain tile. You can plan out entire cities like this, whether it's within your borders, or maybe you can also look further afield and place these map tacks wherever you like. Of course, you can place these anywhere. They don't just need to be in friendly borders. Combine it with the overall utility of just seeing what each district and wonder does, I think this is a really fantastic mod and, and probably much like the extended policy cards, everybody should be installing this one. Next up, I have uh, the simple UI adjustments mod made by one of the best mod creators for Civilization VI. The simple UI adjustments mod again is another one that I can just routinely and uniformly recommend to everybody and anybody <laughs> and their grandmas if they're playing Civilization VI. This thing is really good. If you like numbers and data, it can give that to you. If you also just want a more simplistic laid back Civilization VI experience, it'll do that as well and it will fix some of the clunkiness that sits within Civilization's UI. Take a look down here as you can see this mod interacting with a lot of the base game stuff that is just in Civilization VI by default to provide you with a little bit more detail on where stuff is coming from. How are you making your money? Where is your science coming from? For example, all of those yields related to individual cities can be displayed, but also, of course, more broadly over in the left side of the screen, you'll get a whole load more data as well. Other honorable mentions in the mod include some minor tweaks and changes that really make a big difference. Uh, simple things that some of the mods in this video can do, like for example moving the little emblem that a city uses to shoot at a barbarian unit so that you can actually click it. You'll see over on the left hand side of the screen and across the UI in general it looks much more clean and straightforward. A shout out as well up to the top right to those wonderful leader icons, but that is a basic setting, so not included in this video. What is, is my favourite environmental skin. It's the Sid Meier's Civilization V environmental skin. You would have seen me playing it with it in this video. Take a look at the map. It looks slightly more gritty than Civilization VI's more natural, cartoony elements. It doesn't change the leaders and so on, but it does add a wonderful texture that is slightly officially supported by Firaxis as well. Now, to conclude the video, I have some honourable mentions. Firstly, again, back here to one of my favourite mod creators, the Oceans mod is really, really good. It adds a lot of depth, excuse the pun, to a wonderful ocean world, including resources and units and all sorts of other things that make one of 4X Games' routinely weak points a strong suit for Civ 6. Real great people can also add some historical flair if you're not using one of the other more quick deals inspired great people mods. I also want to show you the global relations panel. Again, another simple UI interface that can show you who people are trading with and their alliances or wars. And lastly, a better report screen. If you really do like the numbers, you will love to delve into this. Thank you very much for watching this Civilization 6 mod video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.